Well, let's stay a while longer on the story. Let's hop on our four lines and speak to our Shanti regional correspondent, uh, Evans Inkum. He's been covering the story. Uh, Evans, uh, which particular project has the president been inspecting and what has he been telling the people? Well, Papasi, very good afternoon to you, Papasi. Well, the president um, came to the Shanti region somewhere yesterday and his first point of call was at a new Edupiasi, precisely a village um, called Subinkam, where he commissioned or he cast sword for the commencement of a road um, project. The road is a trunk road um, to be precise, and uh, it's part of the COCO um, road programs, which has just been initiated or somewhere. It was actually initiated somewhere last year. Now, it uh, stretches from Atase to Owusukrum, where it's about 22.4 kilometers. Faculty, I must say, it's good news for cocoa farmers around that particular area because um, they've been complaining a lot about the poor nature of the road network. And um, it has come uh, at a time that the president has also um, reiterated the government commitment in boosting cocoa production in the country. Faculty. Evans, the, the, pers the president is also reported to have warned that persons who uh, divert cocoa inputs uh, will be uh, punished if found culpable. Can you highlight a bit on that? Well, the president uh, expressed worry yesterday at Subin Khan because um, he said um, initially Ghana used to be the major producer of cocoa in the sub-Saharan Africa. But now we are just lying second behind um, Ivory Coast. And he is uh, thinking of boosting the cocoa production. But there have been some um, people who act um, kind of inimical to the production of cocoa because for so long a time the government has injected huge amounts in boosting cocoa production through the provision of hybrids and uh, also other inputs. But Pakoshi, you and I know that uh, there have been instances where these inputs have been diverting to other areas. We've had um, an incident where uh, people even uh, go to the extent of selling the input outside the country. This is something that the president is worried about because, um, he, according to him, if that thing continues to linger, then it means uh, we will not be serving any good to our economy. I mean, looking at the, 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 the contribution of cocoa to our economy. So the president has expressed um, worry and he has also issued um, a stern warning to those who are. I mean, corporates in diverting um, cocoa inputs or inputs um, to cocoa farmers and um, to other areas. That they should put a whole to it. If anybody found culpable, that person will be made to face the full rigors of the law. That was his statement. Uh, and do we know when next the president will be visiting? Currently, the president is expecting the ongoing project at Pepa um, Government Hospital, a 60 um, bed capacity hospital, which are progressing. What I'm seeing, work is actually progressing. Steadily. So, um, you see, yeah, he just arrived and is inspecting a project alongside the chief of SEPA. Let me also chip in this. Yesterday, he inspe inspected a similar project at the Kwai. I mean, it's some a project that is very dear to the, the heart of uh, the people in the Kwai. I mean, I'm talking about the Kwai Hospital. And he has also assured that funds will be released as quick as possible to ensure the project finish on time. All right, thank you very much. We've got to leave it here. Uh, Evans Incom is our Ashanti regional correspondent.